I'll lay down, eh? Have a nice sleep. Step parent adoptions are pretty straightforward usually. I'll do a series of series? visits. Well, yeah, just to get to know you. And then I'll... Well, well you, you, you've been here for hours. Don't, don't you know there's enough? No, I'm sorry. It's just a process we have to go through. We'll do a series of interviews, individually and collectively. We'll do a standard check with the Criminal Records Bureau. And then I'll file a report to present to the adoption panel. And they'll make the decision. There's nothing to worry about. I just thought it'd be simpler than all that. It'll be worth it in the end. That's the spirit, Chesney. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye. Why did you tell her you didn't have a criminal record? You started it. I only said you liked to keep your nose clean. Yeah, well, she knew you weren't talking about hankies. Hey, stop it. If you start arguing, you'll mess it all up. Is he okay? I don't know. Mike? Wake up, Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you feeling? Didn't I just kill myself? So now why would an old fighter want to do something like that? Uh, I can't remember. Come on, Mike. Let's get you home out of the rain. Everyone's been worried sick about you. Yeah, come on, mate. Come on. See what he wants for breakfast, I suppose. Come on, Jamie, you know what I mean. Now, last night we were lucky we found him. What if we hadn't? I don't know. He could have died out there. He wanted to. I've been up half the night thinking about it. He needs medical help. Well, I suppose we need to talk to his doctor. <coughs> Mike, how are you feeling? You know me, it's Jamie. Your house, this, is it? Well, yeah, Frankie's, really. You remember Frankie? Yeah, of course I do. Look, <coughs> it's all wrong. These, these aren't mine. No, they're my clothes. You got a right drenching last <coughs> night. Your clothes are soaked. <coughs> I'm not feeling so good. You ought to see a doctor, Mike. No, I can't stand doctors. <coughs> I tell you, there's something wrong with you. <coughs> Tell you, you're drinking too much. Try to tell you what to do. I hate them. I hate doctors. Hey, it's good having the place to ourselves again, isn't it? Lee, listen, love. Should I'm... you go out tonight and celebrate? Just listen for a sec, will you, please? I'm going to go around Frankie's, get Mike, and bring him back here. Oh, Danny, why? You don't want him here any more than I do. Because I don't want him staying with Jamie, right, in case he starts talking. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, in case he starts talking about the new will oh, or the power of attorney. Oh, he won't. He's all confused, and anyway, he's lost his memory. Yeah, and sometimes it comes back, and I don't want Jamie catching on, which is why I want him out of there, all right? Right, OK, fine, but I'm sorry, not here. I'm sorry, Danny, but I can't handle it anymore. Just get him in a care room. Yes, I will, but I can't just dump him on a doorstep and scarf her, can I? Hey, I'll have to find a nice place for him, a place that he'll accept. It'll take time, but I will get it, right? Trust me, OK? We could have a brew while it's quiet. And one of us could walk up the street to the bakery and get a couple of cream cakes to go with it. Or failing that, we could stand on one leg and yodel a duet from Phantom of the Opera. You are? Oh, you are alive after all. You've hardly said a word since we opened. When I have something to say, I shall say it. At the moment, I just want a few minutes with the Gazette. Why, what's so interesting? What are you after? Oi. It's not the pets for sale column that you're studying, is it? Because if it is, you better do nothing until you've consulted me. Oh, I am merely trying. Never mind merely. There is no merely about it. You are not having a dog in my flat. I have no intention. You are staying about it. there temporary. <laughs> but when I return, I want it fit for human habitation. A budgie. I don't mind a budgie. 
In fact, I think you and a budger get on like a house on fire. And if you had a visitor and they said, who's a pretty boy then? It'd be a toss-up who answered first. Oh, you don't half ramble on when the mood's on you. Look, I have no intention of acquiring a pet of any kind. You ought to eat something, you know, Mike. I'll have something later. I'm not hungry at the moment. OK. Well, uh, listen, I've got to go out anyway, so um, you'll be fine with Jamie. Jamie? My big son, yeah, OK. Grandson? Yeah, that's what I said. You're a good boy. I'll get that on my way out. Nice girl, that. You did well there, son. She's not my girl. My advice is grab her. Morning. I'll come for Mike. And what do you want? Well, I tell you what I don't want. I don't want an argument. I've just come to take Mike home, that's all. There you go. I've got some clothes for you, Michael. Bung them, eh? Uh, yeah, I know you, don't I? Yeah, of course you do. It's Danny boy. Come on, Mike. I'll take you home. Car's outside waiting for you. I'm OK where I am. <coughs> oh, come on, Mike. Look, you'll be much more comfortable there. You've got everything you need at the flat. And, and, and Leanne's there. She's waiting for you. She'll look after you. Leanne? That's that bird you brought home, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Don't like her. You're not a bad judge. No, I'll stay here. Oh, come on, Mike, please, ah, just... Look, you heard him. He doesn't want to go with you. Oh, yeah, you've been working on him, have you? Turning him against me? I'm just trying to look after him. Listen, yeah, right, the pair what? of you... Just leave Mike alone. He doesn't need this. he would be OK with us, right? <coughs> right. For now. You need to get hold of me. You know where I am. Well, I won't. Neither will he. Right, it's time I hit the highway. Vernon, can I ask you something? Yeah. You know, yesterday at the auditions, I didn't show you up, did I? I mean, <laughs> did the rest of the lads in the band give you a hard time because your girlfriend wanted to audition? Babe, the guys loved you. So did I. You have got a great voice. Oh. Who knows what you could have done if you started young. Sorry, I asked. Don't take that the wrong way. Believe me. I was proud of you. <laughs> well, that's OK, then. <laughs> Mind you, you did make the right choice. Michelle will better than me. Well, I reckon she's got the makings. Let's see how she performs after today's rehearsals. It's going to be a long day for her, but she'll have to get used to that now. You know, I'm not doing much today. I could come to rehearsals with you. That's not a good idea, babe. Why not? Because Michelle needs licking into shape, which means I'm going to have to be tough on her, which if she's a pro, she can take, but not with my girlfriend standing there. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's all about the vibes. Yeah, I suppose so. All right, then. I'll be off. Um, oh, can you, uh, can you get the door for us? Yeah. See you later, babe. Okay. Oh, 